And what viodi has been trying to do the last couple of years is bring together the local content efforts of the independent telcos. Terry, you, you guys have been producing local content for a couple of years. What piece of advice would you give to an independent telco deciding to get into local content? I think I would, <clears throat> the advice I would give would be, you know, to start simple. Uh, we got into local content because we felt like it would be a differentiator for us in our competition with the cable system and with satellite because the incumbent cable system doesn't do anything locally. And uh, one of the first things we did, we, we purchased one camera and then we went out and we started covering high school baseball. And we got a couple of guys that were former athletes locally there at the high school who played football and played baseball. And uh, they, uh, they really... You know, they really enjoyed that, and so they became our commentators. And then uh, the next fall, we started doing high school football. And then we started doing city council meetings, county commission meetings, and it grew from there. And then we went to cooking shows, gardening shows. We do a local access uh, that we highlight events going on and talk about anything in the news and interview local people, celebrities. Uh, you know, community leaders, things like that. Uh, and then we also developed, our executive vice president, Phil Early, gave us a challenge. He said, I think we need to do something for children. And so we developed a, a program that is all original. And uh, so we produce, what, one or two of those on a monthly basis. And, uh, all local kids in the community. So, you know, the thing is, you got to get started. And, uh, it's not about reinventing the wheel. It's just getting in there and doing something, and then it just grows from there. And uh, you know, obviously, the first thing you have to do is get some video equipment that allow you to tape things, edit things. Uh, but it's not brain surgery, and uh, you know, you just start simple. So the uh, advice that Terry gives is very good advice to start simple. Uh, Kim, you're a host of some of the shows. Yes, I am. So why don't you talk a little bit about that? And okay. you don't do you have to have a Hollywood background like yours to do that? I don't know. Well, I have a theater background, so that does help a lot. <laughs> but I end up I do a lot of the writing and producing, and I have to be very resourceful. You know, go out and find people in your community who either want to be on television or who have a special skill that you want to spotlight. We have a wonderful lady in our community that's a wonderful seamstress. So we created a whole show around her, and it's excellent. I mean, it's very, very good. So I'm unfortunately, you know, the one in the department that is not afraid to do all that kind of stuff. So I end up doing a lot of the shows, but uh, it's fun for me. Well, so she gave some good advice there. If you're doing local content, find people in the community who are talented. Unfortunately, it looks like the DVD isn't going to play. Oh, no. uh, I don't see it up here yet. And Terry has another comment. Yeah, I just want to make a comment along with what Kim was saying about host and talent. Um, one of the first things we did was a cooking show, and we didn't go out and look for some chef that we could find. We found somebody within the company that was willing to be the front person. And that's how we got started with the cooking show. It was actually our marketing director. And you know, most independent telcos will tell you, you have to be very resourceful in most things that you do. So you just have to look around and find people that are willing just to jump in there and get started. So, super, Terry and Kim, thank you very much for making the track for Ringgold here. Give one a hand for Terry and Kim. Thank you. One of the things, if you uh, stick around here for a few minutes, we're uh, going to be giving away uh, two iPod Nanos, one here in a minute or two. And you can see it's preloaded with some content, some VOD TV content. Very, very valuable stuff. So here we go. Don Cerrito from uh, Three Rivers Telecom. 365277. Yay, winner! And Don is, Don is a local content alumnus. He's come to the VOD local content workshop. So that's terrific. The next iPod uh, Nano. Hot Look at that, bro.